Hi, this is Steve from Roof for 911. I'm on a roof in McLean, Virginia. This roof is only one year old, but unfortunately it has to be stripped, including the plywood as well, because when the contractors installed the roof, uh, they never used H clips in between the plywood. So this homeowner has a buyer for the home, and the buyer hired an inspector, and when he went inside the attic, he noticed no clips. So that means the entire roof has to be stripped. It's got to be done according to Virginia building codes. Now, another thing is this flashing. I believe this is old flashing, but whoever installed it, they installed it wrong. Um, so the water's getting right in through here. They should have taken the saw and cut right through the mortar, and then the new flashing would be shaped like an L, and would be inserted within the mortar, and then you seal the leading edge. Also, when the contractor did the roofing here, he nailed the shingles into the step flashing. Also, there's a split right here in the step flashing, so that's causing a leak too. But the homeowner doesn't know it, and the reason why is because the insulation directly below is absorbing the water. But once that insulation becomes saturated, then they're going to see the water stains on the ceiling. Also, the mortar here is all cracked. Um, so the crown would have to be rebuilt and the chimney, new bricks would have to be installed and then do the uh, tuck pointing. Um, so the entire roof has to be stripped. We need to install new plywood, make sure we install H-clips, um, and then a new ridge vent going across the top. But also these valleys were done wrong too. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. Like here, for example, there should be no nails exposed too close to the valley center line. It should be at least nine inches away. So what happens is when there's a heavy rain or a melting snow, the water will get underneath the valley, then the water will seep right through the side of that nail. Water will travel down the roof and usually settle at the lowest point, which is right here. So when we install the old roof, we're going to have, I mean the new roof, we're going to have to take off one course of shingles here so we can run ice and water shield right along the entire length of the valley. And then the new shingles are going to be tied into this roof here. Um, also, there's two valleys over here. They did exactly the same thing. Again, my name is Steve from Roofer 911. We specialize in roof replacement in McLean and all areas in Northern Virginia. I can be reached at 703-475-2446, and our estimates are always free.